Hi everyone and welcome to Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips. I'm your host, Natasha Jameson. Our show focuses on overall wellness as we share necessary insight and knowledge essential to living an exceptional life. This is my passion and I hope that I inspire you to live your own. On today's show, I am honored to welcome restorative tattoo artist, Professor Kyla Gucci. She is the owner of Cosmetic Transformations, a global leader in restorative tattooing. We will be discussing how cosmetic tattooing has impacted Kyla's life and her clients. Also, Kyla openly addresses her battle in remission from cancer and her ongoing struggle with severe depression. Kyla will explain why she is so passionate about her life mission, which is being a light to others. But first, we start off the show by talking trends with the lovely Gail Harrington. I Hi, love Natasha. having you on. I love saying the lovely Gail Harrington. We are talking about two trends today. Mm -hmm. Facial exercises, you know how much I love those. And bronzers, but not just for the face. And you for know the how much I love those. Well, exactly. <laughs> Doesn't every girl? If you can't tone it, you need to tan it. I'm serious. I stand by that. I stand by that. If you can't tone it, Tan it. Every time I everybody it on looks so much better tan. I love thinking about that. <laughs> so the first one, facial exercises. Yes. We've talked about this before. Facial yoga, facial exercises, mm -hmm. but this is mm -hmm. specifically because mm -hmm. there's like an increase in the kind of natural way of getting lifted, more glowy kind of skin. Mm -hmm increase in circulation the benefits are just yes. numerous collagen you know? production collagen even, apparently. yes and cell regeneration yes. absolutely yes because you're also removing lymph fluid from mm -hmm. the places where it pools mm -hmm. that's basically a network of, ser of tissues and organs that has waste products and that and, deto and detoxifies your body so it cleanses all and that so out so you're the keep jade moving. roller all of that stuff for that and even just your hands if you don't you mm -hmm. know i use a spoon right yes yeah. A cold spoon. A cold spoon. That's what I use with a little bit of oil. I mean, yeah. you don't have to invest yeah. Yeah. to be able to get the benefit. Yeah. You don't have to. I don't. Or you can just use your fingers. And you, there's tons and tons of online facial exercises yes. that you can you know, upload. It's just a few minutes. Yes. Although I think that they say 20 minutes a day, three to five days a week. I don't do 20 minutes. Five. Well, a lot of people don't have... Five minutes. Five that's minutes. it. While sure. I'm watching, uh, I don't know, Sure. 90 Day Fiance, which is my favorite <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So five minutes. But it literally has such benefits. There's an increased movement of people wanting a more natural alternative instead of getting the Botox mm -hmm, and other, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But if you want yeah. something a little bit more, like an alternative, this yeah, is definitely an alternative. French women have been doing this from the beginning of time. Probably Absolutely. a lot of other women as well. Yes, there's so many benefits to be reaped from this. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's free. You use your hands or you can use a tool. Mm -hmm. I use a spoon, I told you. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, you're decreasing a lot of the things that can cause aging. Yes. You know, and, and you know, even some just tension relief. It's a very, thing. Yes, because if your muscles and your skin, the muscles are basically what cause the wrinkle because they're tense and tight, like the mm -hmm. 11s or the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the basically the frown lines. The mm -hmm. 11s is like the medical term. Yes. Um, you can hold a lot of tension there or anywhere else. You want to release that because once the muscle is released, the skin will actually be a, a lot, you know, smoother on the surface mm -hmm. and you won't have those deep, deep grooves. Yeah. But you have to kind of really invest in yourself to yes. do it regularly. And, and you look at the before and after pictures on some of these women, you can find them on YouTube. Yes. Different. It's, it's amazing. amazing that you can, I mean, without, you know, some of the injectables that you can lift your cheeks yeah. and create more tone and firmness. Because you know what happens when we age? Nothing good. I do know what <laughs> happens when we age, unfortunately. <laughs> Nothing good. Everything is... So, yeah. So, you know, everything sags and that's just a part of living and that's just what happens. So if this is something that, you We're know... We're fighting it all the way. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> They're going to think we're crazy, but that's okay. We're crazy in a really lovely, crazy, way. In a lovely in way. In a lovely way, I think. <laughs> so we're going to talk about bronzers. Right. Bronzers, not only just for your face, but for your whole body. Yes. There's a whole new movement to these beautiful oils. And waters. Yes. And sprays. All sorts of things, mist, yeah. gels, everything. Like, they're so much more user-friendly. That's right. You want to stay from orange, ugly tones. Right. They don't smell too bad sparkly. like they used no, to. No, they're lovely. Yeah. You just, they just go on like a lotion. 
nutrition, they're hydrating, although, you know, my advice is you need to exfoliate your body because right. it will grab onto anything dry like elbows, yes, knees, or ankles. Yes, ankles are bad for yeah, that. Just kind of yeah. give yourself a scrub. Yes, a scrub moisturize. and then a moisturizer. And I think that's the key. And absolutely. then it gives you a very, very kind of even tan. Yes. So I think that's really, really exciting. I really love bronzers and absolutely. everything to do with, you know, faking it. Yes. <laughs> yes, if you can't tone it. Tan it. That's it. Tan it. Just tan it like so a pro. All the celebrities do it. Why do you think they do it? Bodybuilders, although they're at their peak and performance. Totally. Well, and they contour as well. They do. Get a good, to a get good the chisel. Yes. Oh, we're on to them. We that's are so right. on that's to them, right. Gail. And then a little bit of cheekbone oh, yes, here as well, right. even to push back a hooded Absolutely. eye. You can do everything with everything. bronzer. Everything. And it, when, with respect to face, it has changed a little tiny bit, the bronzers. You use like an all-over translucent kind of powder bronzer right. for your face. And then the deeper tones go in kind of like to chisel out right. with a little bit of a highlighter. So there's three right. tones that we're looking at with yes. respect to makeup. So that's the difference. Yes. You d and you definitely need to wear a little bit of makeup, mm -hmm. uh, little mm -hmm. eyes, mascara, lips, because what happens is your features kind of disappear. Right, because yeah, you, you get yes. like a flat You just flat, lining. more flat. That's yeah. right. So you want to keep that in mind. But no the same flat thing. lining for us. We don't want no. that. Exfoliate the face too. Yes. Moisturize yes. and then, you know, put your makeup on or yes. whatever, you know, yes. w if you want to even go, you know, using a lotion or a self tan or something, definitely do that first, but be aware mm -hmm, of like the mm -hmm. product and if it's in your color family. You don't want to go too dark. That's you can't right. go up four levels. Right. Okay. Right. And if yeah. somebody's very blonde and very, you very have to be pale, careful. Yes. They need a to subtle be subtle tan. Careful. Exactly. And that is it. It goes by so quickly. Yeah, All yeah. the time. Just whoosh and it's gone. But I love having you on the show. Thank so you. thank you so much. And you'll come again next time. All right. Up next, we speak with Professor Kyla Gucci. Stay with us. Natasha's Licks, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one month membership. Also, offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp includes a one week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church. Located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Welcome back. Here with us now is Professor Carla Gucci, an incredible woman that has earned many titles, one of which is cancer survivor. Carla is here to share her inspiring story of courage and strength, explaining how struggling with depression opened her heart to be of service to others. Carla, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. It's my honor to have you. <laughs> Honestly, it's my honor. You were diagnosed with ovarian cancer before you were 30, and your father was a great source of encouragement, saying that resilience can be found in helping those less fortunate and seeing beyond yourself. Tell us about how your dad's words helps you in, in your life. Well, he hauled me out of the house, Natasha. He wasn't going to have any of the pity no, party, no as pity he party. called it. He said, that's not how we raised you. He couldn't understand why I didn't love myself the way he and mom loved me, yes. but he was darn sure I was going to fall in love with the young trauma survivors that he had volunteered me and him to work with over the course of a year. And I have to tell you that although I had scarring on my lips and eyebrows, these kids were far more disfigured. And one of them, little Asha, made me this photo that I still have today, this picture of this cute little stick person with a big smile. Oh. And it said in big bubbly letters, you're pretty inside oh and out. Oh my God. And I remember crying and she came and gave me this big hug and my dad whispered in my ear, whatever life gives you, give back more. That is, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Don't make the host cry on her. <laughs> no, but that is such a beautiful story. And your dad obviously really affected the direction of your life. He did. What was your first reaction when you found out that you had cancer? Because everybody has a different experience. I felt totally out of control of the situation. Yes. And I'm embarrassed to say, but in all honesty, I lost control. Yes. I peed my pants right yeah. there on the chair. And uh, the oncologist reached over the desk, Natasha, yes. grabbed my hand and said, that's why they're covered in plastic. And we started that's laughing. Right. That's that right. Even <laughs> that's right. Well, yes. And I think that that loss of control over one's life, in all honesty, oh, yes. it, is, it is very overwhelming and it's hard Absolutely. to put in words. Oh, and if yes. that story, as embarrassing as it is to tell it, gives anyone out there hope that yeah. when you feel like you've lost control, 
the most important thing is to do things that make you feel more in control of your life. Yes, of course. And that's not uncommon. I used to work at PMH. So, you know, people's reactions are always going to be so, so different mm -hmm. because it's such a shock. Like yes. you said, it's, it's traumatizing. You can't see beyond yourself. So being a survivor, how are you living your life differently now? Much more authentically and embracing the moment. Yeah. Is this why, you know, you kind of have uh, spoken about being a light to others? I think so. And um, embracing like what things come and not being afraid to fail and... There's a, a company called Shine the Light On and their founder, Eli Brown, is really been an inspiration to me of going through depression and struggling with it on a daily basis and shining that light through acts of compassion and kindness yes. with others. And I think when you do that, you provide the example to the people you're helping that they can do the same thing. Absolutely. And all of us doing that, that's what's going to make a more compassionate world. Absolutely. What would you tell someone that was recently diagnosed? It's only a person that can go through it that has the that's compassion yeah. and the insight to understand it completely. I think how that person is feeling. You go through sadness, you go through anger, yes. almost like all the stages oh, with grief, yes. and yes, just you do. Like the death of a loved one or facing death head on, you need to learn to manage that and live with it. You don't really get over it, you have to live your life differently yeah. and be prepared to live your life how differently. How did you live differently? How did you manage it? How did you deal with it? I think my dad helped by making me focus not inwardly but outwardly on other people. Yes, of course. And there's always going to be people more vulnerable than yourself yes. and it's very humbling and I think it's very necessary to be around that and be part of that and mm -hmm. realize that you're making a difference and that you you're required in this world, you're a gift, you're needed for something. Yes, absolutely, everybody does. Let me ask you this, Kyla, you, how were you able to get through the debilitating depression that came from all of these things kind of being throwing at you? Honestly, it's not something that you overcome, but rather something you manage. Yes. Just like a physical illness that can be cured, like heart disease or diabetes, depression is something that you have to monitor and live with on a daily basis. Yes, absolutely. But what, have, what changes have you made to kind of help yourself? Surrounding myself with people who sustain me. Yes. Focusing on other people. Mm -hmm. And if there are things or situations that are sapping energy or yes. taking up too much drama, be assertive enough and love yourself enough to walk away from that. Yes. I love that. I have to quote again the the article that you were focused and featured on Shine the Light website. I'm going to read it because I love your <laughs> words so much. Regardless of your circumstances that you're dealt in life, we can still make a change and be a light to help others. I get so emotional when I read that because I want to know what, uh, why being a light is so important to you. I think it's because it helps me get through what I'm going through, and I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Miss yeah, I know, I know, I know. Unless you come out just teasing. <laughs> I think no. In all seriousness, um, I think we're only here for a short time, and unless we're faced with illness or the death of a loved one, we tend to forget that. We mm -hmm. go to A to B to C, yes. we have our jobs, our kids, or our fur babies, or whatever it yes, is. Yes, of course. But we need to take time and realize that we're only here for a short while, and we're here to help one another and to do the least amount of harm. Absolutely. And on that note, more with Kyla when we return. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham Region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Welcome back. We are talking to Professor Kyla Gucci, owner of Cosmetic Transformations, a cosmetic and medical micropigmentation company that enhances and restores features that have been lost due to illness, trauma, and surgery. Kyla, in the last segment, you shared your journey in overcoming cancer and your struggle with depression, but you also had different challenges that you faced uh, that you tried to have rectified. Please share with us. Well, after the ovarian cancer treatments, I was left with no eyebrows and depigmented lips from the type of chemotherapy I had been on, and my oncology nurse offered to tattoo them. The problem was she was a wonderful nurse, but not the best artist, oh, and although she did everything safely, she didn't have the artistic knowledge. Yes. And so the colors, the eyebrows went a greeny brown, and the lip, the pink under my green toned skin went mauve, and so I would jump from the frying pan into the fire oh. by seeing a permanent makeup person who tried to rectify these things. Yes. But unbeknownst to me, 
a permanent makeup person had the artistry but not the safety. And I had such severe reaction to the pigments that I had to have pieces of my lips and part of my eyebrows cut out. Oh my goodness, that is very, that is severe. That is severe. How did you deal with that? Uh, not have, well. No. I didn't leave my house for over a year until yes. my dad dragged me out, as I yes, explained. Yes. And uh, I think even now it's something I feel very strongly about that the um, bar of the cosmetic tattooing yes. really has to be raised. Yes. Traditional tattooing, the apprenticeships are usually six months to a year or longer, whereas a lot in the beauty industry there's like three day or two day courses in this. And I think there really has to be more of a um, a program that brings the safety and yes. the artistry together. And I would argue too, Natasha, that empathy. It's not your typical Absolutely. type of tattooing. Yes, no, it's not. And uh, cosmetic transformations, we're trying to raise the bar with training. And we have a year-long program. That's really great. So that this kind of never has to happen to anybody else ever again. I made again. a promise to myself, yeah, yes, to create a safe to. space yes. where people could come not only to be tattooed, but to train and to do it properly. Yes. So that anyone who's tattooed, think of it as if it was your sister or your close Absolutely, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. It's a very serious thing. I think people might get a little confused with what you do as opposed to a surgical team, mm -hmm. so maybe explain that for us. Well, surgeons create seams and they remove uh, features when they need to, like breast okay. with breast cancer, whereas restorative tattooing, we can camouflage those seams so we can take okay. skin tones, even freckles or little capillaries or simulated pores, put that into the scarring to help it blend or we can create the 3D illusion of nipple areola complexes for breast cancer survivors or eyebrows or eyelashes if through trauma or surgery they've been removed. I see. So t I want to know more about how you came to create cosmetic transformations. How did that all mm. unfold? Because it just seems like a sequence of events that was inevitable. Really. It, it does in hindsight. But yes. At the time, but at the I time, felt, oh, I no, felt it's like never. such a failure. Yes. I mean, I started off in chemistry, medical yeah. illustration, and there were these two poles, kind of like, which way do I go? Yes. And then my dad said, you know, a caterpillar, if it just gave up and thought that's it was right. a failure, you'd never have a butterfly. No. And that's why I chose it as my logo, the idea of I transformation and taking all of these things that were hardships and putting a spin on it and taking that chemistry knowledge for safe pigment and creating a safe dispersant, taking the medical and anatomical knowledge to know how to tattoo properly, mm -hmm. taking the empathy yes. of what I've been through and my experiences with young kids with trauma and disfigurement and putting it all together to create a safe space yes. where things were done artistically, safely and with empathy. Absolutely. You're a company that is actually at the forefront, but I don't know if a lot of them are following suit, so I think it's, it's very necessary. Uh, one of the reasons I've always worked in medical facilities and I've worked alongside surgeons is to try to raise the bar and to push for reform. In Asia, they're already saying that tattooing can only be done by medical professionals. Okay. And while there's some lament that that's driving things underground, mm -hmm. there's also the fact now that oh, in those countries, and I'm sure Canada will follow suit, mm -hmm. you can now pursue tattooing in a medical field. Mm -hmm. And so you could have nurses or surgeons or others who are talented decide to learn all the safety knowledge and learn all the artistry necessary to help their clients or patients for the better. That's amazing. That, that's where it should be. That's where the focus should be. Mm -hmm. So given everything that you've said, if somebody has had some experiences and some trauma due to illness, you know, accidents, all sorts of different, you know, even illnesses, how do you know if you're a potential candidate for some of your services? Well, on our website, the Cosmetic Transformations website, we have a very secure with extra security features form that okay. people can fill out and I answer all of those personally. Okay. And if they're uh, not able to be tattooed, if it's contraindicated because of their medical history or where their scarring is in their journey, I can give them um, treatment plans or other options that they can pursue. Okay, so do they have to kind of upload a photo for you to see? Like there's is like an online digital diagnoses, yeah, consultation, it's like an online, all safe? It's online answers of, about their pertinent Perfect. medical history yes. and there's also the uh, photos that we asked to be uploaded and it's secure, uh, like an online bank. I love it. More with Kyla when we return. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. 
back, we are talking with Kyla Gucci about how she transforms people's lives with her company, Cosmetic Transformations, one client at a time. So Kyla, what was the pivotal moment that you knew that this was what you were meant to do? Well, I was uh, tattooing a young boy who had been disfigured uh, in house fire mm -hmm. under the guidance of the surgeon who was training me. And my dad had actually asked to sit in and got permission from the kid and his oh, family because he at this point was thinking, this is crazy. It's like running away and joining the circus. You can't be a tattoo artist. <laughs> He's like, I wanted you out of that house, but don't, don't become a tattoo artist. That's right, that's right. So he was sitting in, <laughs> and this little boy was so sweet. And at the very end of it, they gave him a mirror and it was all oh. quiet. And he pointedly turned to my dad and said, you know what? my friends are going to want to play with me again. Oh my and I remember God. at that moment thinking, this, this, this is, is what it. I was intended to do. This is what even you know, if this. I don't make money at it, even if it's going to be hard, I will persevere and do this because everything that I've gone through, all the things that I have endured have led me to this moment yes. where I can help this child and others like him move forward in their life and overcome disfigurement. Yes, it's a full circle moment. It is, Oprah would say. Aha, full circle yeah. moment. I love Oprah, you have to forgive me. <laughs> you have an incredible ability and skill that changes people's lives. I want to know Thank what that you. feels like. Um, How does that feel like to you? Very humbling to have it uh, pointed out. I, I think I do it You're for myself. You're so talented. But it's I think, amazing. I think I do it for myself too in terms of it helps me through my depression and my issues to be able to go to work and put smiles on people's faces yes. to change their lives. And I also take that as a huge responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese sensei who trained me, he always said to, you know, you should Every person who comes through your door, it should be like there's a gun to your head because they only have one body yes. and you have to take that seriously. Yes. And I, I've never forgotten that, that it's, it's, it's a big responsibility and it's a vocation, a passion, more than just yes. a job. Yes, that everyone course. who comes to see me has a story. Yeah. Everything is riding on what I do and I need to take that seriously not be complacent. I say a prayer before I do yeah, every absolutely. procedure and I do my very, very best as if they were a relative. That's, I love to hear that. You can feel how much it means to you, the passion and how you are blessed and just destined to do this. You can really feel it. I feel it, I don't know. Maybe they can feel it too. But these specialized skills that you provide for children that you generously donate I've never forgotten the... It's amazing to the, me. Please uh, share with okay, us, please. Well, the lessons that my dad taught me and those kids taught me. So at Cosmetic Transformations, we have the Young Trauma Survivors Foundation. My staff and I volunteer our time and all the materials and everything are through donations or through out of my own pocket. And we don't charge the families anything. Oh. I mean, we're not doing dragons down their backs. Yes. We're doing medical yes. tattoos. Yes, so, of course. So cleft palate, yes. um, uh, air, eyebrows after alopecia or chemotherapy yes. treatments when it's safe and we get the clearance from the surgeon scar camouflage after dog maulings, car accidents, yes. house fires, and sadly even domestic abuse situations oh, wow. where um, social services bring oh, these children to us. And that's sometimes the toughest thing, uh, dealing with the kids and uh, hearing their stories and what they've lived through. And yes. it's very humbling and it's very wonderful to be in a position where I can help them. I think that you already have and you're gonna continue, I yeah. know that. Um, what would you say to individuals that have reservations or an interest in kind of finding more about what you do, tattooing, Absolutely. everything? Absolutely, do your research. It's important, we put so much research into when we get a new car or a purse, and this is your body, the only yes. one you have. Ask to speak to a client. Photos can be deceiving. Asking to speak to a client will tell you a lot that you need to know. Firstly, does that person have enough clients to choose from of skin tones and situations similar to yourself? Are they on good rapport with their clients? Um, thirdly, can, you can talk to that client about the work ethic of the technician, what the premises are like, whether they follow sanitary and, and IPAC, that's infection mm -hmm. protection yes, and control standards. And it really just helps give that human connection that sometimes, instead of hearing from the technician or their staff, hearing it from someone who's in your situation yes. and has gone through similar experiences and what their um, take on it, it can sometimes give you um, all the information you need to see whether it's right for you or not. Yeah. I think it's so important what you said, especially given the fact that they can take other people's pictures. It's happened to me. I had, had no idea yeah, that they could do that. Are being used here. You didn't see the butterfly are you watermark. Are kidding me? Really? <laughs> so yeah. it's very important to speak with somebody that was 
a client yeah. with a certain practitioner because they're not going to hold and back. And the sad thing is that the people using those photos aren't capable of that work. So no. they, have, they have disappointed clients. Uh, so I often then have to be yes. fixing these cases, these complicated cases. Complicated cases. Yeah. So, so I didn't realize how closely you worked with surgeons. Mm -hmm. I always have done. So tell us about that. I find that so fascinating because I've seen some of the work you've done on uh, breast augmentation, mm -hmm. the, the nipples, areola. Mm -hmm. Surgery, I guess, tattooing? Well, at the Medical Arts Center in Peterborough, I share the space with a wonderful surgeon called Dr. Reed Chambers. And he's a cranial facial specialist, so he specializes in faces, but he also does breasts. Okay. He does wonderful work. And he's one of those people uh, who has the same ethos as myself. Like, he just holds their hand, oh, looks at yeah. them, walks the old ladies out the door, I and just is important. a gentleman. And he really cares about what he does. And I, I've worked with Dr. Mitch Brown here in the GTA mm -hmm. and countless others, Dr. Avram of the Jarvinsky, Tony Zhang, wow. Bieber, uh, Semple, Ford, all of these. Lovely doctors. And Adifar, all of these doctors are really putting their all into their patients yes. and they often refer to me because they know I'm OCD like them yes. and I'm, <laughs> you know, they spend all their time yes. making the seams of and course. I will camouflage them and I'll take that patient Your to team. that next level where they can really finally move forward with their life. You change people's lives. You change people's lives and how they feel about themselves. And they change me. That's I think true. It really it's a full me. circle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now I need to know about your most memorable client because we all have them. Yes. Yes. 97 year old Dolly from Texas. <laughs> Dolly from Texas. Honestly, I thought she I loved love her. Her. <laughs> my table. She didn't. She sends me a card every year to let me know she's still ticking. She oh. turns 100 next August. Oh my goodness. And she said that she had to have her whole face tattooed. So blush, foundation, eyeshadow, eyebrows, eyeliner, lips, because she's trying to find a younger man. <laughs> and all she does is goes to funeral's for friends, and the mortician doesn't get it right. They never look like they're friends. So she wanted control over the process. Oh my god. I love her. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> that is hilarious. So she comes from regular maintenance, is she? Yeah, and she has looking to do for a younger man. She says, as women, we live our life for other people, so you yeah. have to adopt. She did in her 96th year wow. the do it doll philosophy. And that's when you think, oh, should I do this? Or, oh, I have to save money for the kids or right. for the dog, whatever. You say, you know what? Do it doll. Do, do it, it doll. for yourself. Do it doll. And before we go, your three points of advice that you can share with our viewers, having heard your incredible and amazing <laughs> story. I say, number one, be kind. Be kind. Most people have a story you don't know about. That's true. Number two, give a smile and make eye contact. For some people, that might be the only smile they get that day That's very true. and number three most important whatever life gives gives you give back more I love it you're a light to others thank you so much for being part of the show thank you. <laughs> yes. oh you're so sweet thank you this is all the time that we have for today thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time Natasha's lips tips and great flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp, includes a one week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Thank you.